Black Light Cyberspace Ministry. On my last video, I'll say we're gonna go on the journey because I was telling you uh, about my name change I got back in uh, 78 using an affidavit. And I showed you my license uh, with my name change on it. It expired, my license expired almost 20 years ago and I haven't been using it. And now my mother, she's, uh, she has made me uh, this is a, a copy of my affidavit for my name change. And uh, on mine, I say is uh, from my Christian name to my Islamic name, which is natural. Uh, my banks with the Social Security. I went and uh, got a Social Security card under the name. My Islamic name, and uh, but I lost it, so I had some problems trying to uh, get another one from the Social Security, and they refused to recognize me as uh, Omar. So I kept my Christian name, or slave master's name, or y'all say government name. But all my bank accounts, all my light bills and electric bills, everything. It's in Omar. You know, so I need an ID. I need an ID because my mother made me executor or gave me the power of attorney. So I wrote up this myself. I didn't go to no lawyer. You know, I worded this myself, person to act as executive and trustee, power attorney. The following are uh, instructions to be applied to the trust agreement established, gave a date by my mother, widow, gave her address. Uh, I gave both of my names, aka. And uh, gave my address and to act as both executor of trustee, power of attorney of my state, this is my mother talking, and conduct any businesses with any banking or financial institution with respect to in your my accounts, including but not limited to making deposits, withdrawal, negotiation, or endorsing any checks or other instruments with respect to such an account obtaining bank statements, passbook, draft money orders, certificates of voucher, payable to me by any person's firm corporation. Signed, my mother, and uh, the witness was uh, one of the uh, uh, consultants at the bank that she or credit union that she uh, does her uh, banking at but they told me that I didn't have a, a, an ID and they wouldn't recognize my driver's license because it was so old now, 
Uh, so I said, well, I'm going to get an uh, ID, a Michigan ID. So I went up there to the Secretary of State. And when the, the teller or the secretary, whoever she was, uh, lady behind, sitting behind the desk, when she seen, and I broke this out to her, my affidavit, I said, this is me. And then I gave her my birth certificate. She went nuts. So then I had to break out my old uh, driver's, driver's license because I, I gave her two bills, uh, Xfinity bill and the light. And, and, uh, DTE, DTE bill, see, with my address and everything on it. And so they made me, they wanted me to get a voter's registration. So I put, when I filled out the application, I put all rights reserved, put all rights reserved on my voter's registration. And they told me it was going to take Two hours. They took copies of everything. They told me it was going to take two hours. And I gave them my number and they said they would call me. So they passed. They haven't called me. So I went up there the next day. They gave me a, a return pass. And they thought I wasn't going to bring all my stuff, so I brought all my stuff. Plus, with some more information on myself. They took my return pass and told me they don't know how long it's going to take. So, that's been a couple of days ago. Uh, so I was going to come back. But first I wanted to uh, tell them, I told them they got to write me out a, a, a statement on why, but they they ignored that. They tried to run some okie doke on me, so I came home and wrote up this. A statement of truth and fact. It says this, I, Omar, aka, petitioned this office of the Secretary of State located on Mac Alta Road, Detroit, Michigan, for delaying my receiving of my Michigan ID card, but giving no explanation or a written statement as to the reason why I caused my grievance. This is my redress, and I ask for you to file this and acknowledge you read this statement by signing below. This is addressed to the manager of this office. Then I wrote some out the uh, some stuff, legal stuff that uh, I looked up. It says, statutory laws that are passed by the legislation are subject and must submit to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, which are the highest laws of the land, which states in the very first amendment as follows. Freedom of religion, speech, and press, right to assemble and petition Congress shall make no laws respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and petition the government for redress and grievances. So I could use any of these points, you know, uh, freedom of religion because uh, the young lady was tripping. She said, oh, you out your... You go, you, you changed your Christian name. I said, yeah, lady, I, I did that in 1978. And I'm 71 years old almost. And I've been operating <laughs> this way for a long time. So she got kind of mad. This, now all these is black. These is black people in a black neighborhood over there on Mac and Alter Road on the east side. So. Then I wrote, no man can serve two masters, 
St. Matthew 5, 24. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. I follow the laws of mankind as long as it does not conflict with the original laws of the Creator, the Most High, and the supreme law of the land, the Constitution, and my human rights. I request a written statement as to why the delay or the denial of my request for Michigan State ID for manager only. I have read and will file on record and date. Sign or initial, you know. This is what I did, you know, because they just service. They don't. They don't control me. Don't let them control me, man. You know, they can act like that if they want to. Now I'm gonna tell you something. That's the only recourse I got. But I'm setting them up, you know, for a lawsuit, you know. Now this here, this here is a book. Let me hurry up. This here is the Constitution of the United States, given to me by the American Civil Liberties Union. Now, I'm, if, if, if I don't get no results, because, see, they blocking my action for me uh, doing business with my mother's bank. She made me the executive of state, and their bank said I need an ID. Now, let me tell you something about the bank. I got a beef with them because my mother know who I am, and she put me in charge of her estate, and they got my mother's ID. And they got my, they, they, you know they got, my mother said I'm her son, and she put me in charge, so they got the paper. So all they got to do is put, put, take a photo of me and put it on file at the office. But see, this is showing you how the state, the city going get, to get, get like this too. And all them are tied in. With uh, the Illuminati and those crooked politicians that's trying to control uh, people. And you know it's a war on Islam right now. So, this is what this is all about. So, I'm going to take you with me when I go down there, back to the Secretary of State. When I go to the bank, I'm going to film it, post it. So I'm going to get on out of here for right now. So stay tuned for the next episode of Cyberspace Ministry. This is your boy, Black Light. Black Light out.